good job. And that's breathing a perfect straightness. She's actually looking at the dog because I'm holding on to a dog that we're going to use in the next segment here. So that's good job, Kylie. What we're doing now is we're showing that the dog shows no shyness or resentment towards the evaluator. The evaluator inspects the dog, combs the brushes lightly, examines oh ears and each front ears. foot. The trainer is taking the dog for a short walk, including a right turn, a left turn, an about turn, and a stop. Dog and trainer walk close to several people. Dog may show casual interest, but not jump on. The trainer shows that she can walk away and the dog will wait, and also that the dog will come when she calls. She also shows that the dog will do the sit and the down when she asks. Okay. All right, this is Kylie. Um, she's going to walk loosely past another dog and showing no aggression towards the dog, no jumping up. So we're going to take this one step further and we're going to have them walk towards each other again. We're going to do a crossover and we're going to have Maddie and Diane stop, um, talk slightly, and our goal is, it's alright if she gets a little excited, um, once again she's only a 14 week old puppy, um, but we don't want her jumping or showing any kind of um, action that way. And once again this is all done without treats. There's no treats evolved whatsoever. So right now she actually should just lay down to sleep. And so basically she lay down while they can talk. And this is exactly what we need to pass our CGC. Good job, Kylie. Distractions are presented and the dog may not show panic or aggression. Basically, the dog is going to be held on a six-foot leash by one of the evaluators, trainers, and since I'm actually the evaluator, I'm doing the video at this point in time. Um, since the dog does know me, I've wanted her to pair with Bryn, who she does not know, and Maddie has gone away, which has been her main trainer. We need to do this for a matter of three minutes. Um, so we're going to hold the dog into this position for three minutes, and she can wander around. She's just not allowed to show any type of anxiety. Um, as you can see, she's entirely very, very calm. And we're just going to let this roll and let you watch her for three minutes in order to show that she has passed. No phase whatsoever that Maddie's even gone or not even here. And we've already gone. We are roughly coming up upon a minute. So we have two more minutes to shoot this and let her see. Um, she's actually hearing some of her puppies bark in the background. She's going over there to get a drink. 
Uh, we're now at a minute four. Uh, we've got another basically two minutes to go. Um, you can see Bryn has her just on a long line. We've got our dogs in the background. <laughs> They're barking as Maddie's going back over to the other barn. But that's okay. She's checking out the chair. She's not even getting worried about the fact that the dogs are barking in the background, which is awesome. Um, she's very, very good with this. She's actually looking for something to play and something to do. This will get her through. We're only at a minute 38. A um, minute 41. So we'll just keep on letting this roll for you for another, all the way, like I said, up until three minutes. So you can see that she has no issues whatsoever. Brent, if you like, you can even let the, let the lead down or take her off the lead if you want. She's obviously got no issues. Um, we're at 204, so we've still got about another 50 seconds to go here. 50 some seconds. Um, we'll just leave her go. Uh, she doesn't care the fact that Maddie, who's been her main handler through her entire training, um, has left her. Um, she's going to Bryn, who Bryn is, is, like I said, a stranger to her, that she's sitting in front of her, offering her, um, you know, her sit. And now she's offering her her down. So she's a very, very calm girl. Um, very easily passing this CGC with no problem. And the thing that is most awesome about this is she's only 14 weeks old. So we will want to get her to have her CGC again um, prior to just prior to turning a year um, because of going into the service dog program or into a therapy dog program. We want the CGC to be as current. So as you can see with it being inbred prior to the first 16 weeks, um, it's, it's going to be a piece of cake as she comes down later on down the line. We just hit our three minute mark and Miss Kylie has made it no problem. Thank you.